Do you have around about $1,000 burning a hole in your pocket and you desperately need to spend it on a high-end CPU? Well, this could be it. it. This is Intel's 6900K, it's a Broadbolt E 8-core and it's freaking insane. Stick around as it's really pretty awesome. Check out techteamgb.co.uk for more awesome news, reviews and other stuff, including more information on this product and many more. Stick around for this awesome video. So this is it, Intel's, uh, I guess, spiritual successor to the 5960X, which is obviously the highest end uh, Haswell E chip that was available. Now this obviously being Broadwell E means that it is more power efficient. It's still actually a socket 2011-3 uh, chip and will fit in old X99 boards as long as they've had a uh, update. This is an 8 core 16 thread 3.2 gigahertz clocked or 3.7 gigahertz boost chip with 20 megabytes of L3 cache and 40 PCIe lanes so if you're looking to run a you know monster uh, multi GTX 1080 setup then this could be a pretty good chip to do it on now there is a uh, 10 core version which is obviously even uh, better and more insane but uh, we're gonna be taking a look at this one first and obviously I'm using the uh, Strix uh, x99 board that Isu sent over along with this chip to uh, test everything out I'm also using 32 gigs of quad-channel Corsair memory and a Corsair H100 IV2, just to give you an idea of uh, you know the whole sort of setup. Um, and I'm actually using a Zotac 980 just for comparison to the older chips such as the 6700K and the 4790K that I took a look at in the past. Now as you can see with CPU-Z it does show all the uh, information you'd expect and what's really awesome is CPU-Z now has a built-in benchmark and it pretty much beats the 5960X handily and as you can see cycling through some of the other chips it beats them pretty well uh, there as well. The only thing is that single threaded performance is generally down uh, especially on the uh, you know in comparison to even the 5960X. In terms of Cinebench numbers as you can see uh, the, it seems to be a fairly standard thing that the more cores and the more overall powerful a chip is the less single threaded performance it has but uh, as you can see with the 5960 actually looking at about 1300 points versus the 6900k which has 1600 points that's a really nice margin as I said single core performance is down so a 6700k will beat it in single core or single threaded performance but at the same time this obviously isn't really designed for as much single threaded workloads you know you're talking King video rendering, 3D ray tracing, um, anything that requires lots of computation, lots of power, uh, even you know video transcoding, stuff like that. As you can see in the rest of the benchmarks, it does handle to beat everything, especially in 3D Mark. As you can see, the physics score uh, is absolutely insane. In fact, the physics score is higher than the overall total score, uh, so that's pretty impressive. By the way, in terms of temperatures, you're looking at, uh, at least with the H100, I was looking at about 60 degrees under full load, um, and with a few other coolers that I I did have on before the uh, H100, uh, it's still around about 60 degrees, so it is fairly power efficient, uh, at least in terms of temperatures anyway, which is nice. In terms of gaming performance, I didn't see a ridiculously massive improvement, obviously uh, you're looking at something like uh, maybe 10 FPS jump, which is obviously really nice, uh, but I wouldn't necessarily expect people to only buy this chip purely for uh, gaming purposes. So overall, I'm really impressed with this chip. It's awesome, it seems to be a pretty decent value proposition in terms of the really high-end and pretty expensive CPUs, considering this isn't even the highest-end Intel is offering this time, with a 10-core variant available at a slightly lower clock speed, although I'm sure they will release a uh, higher clock speed version as an X or an Extreme version, so you know, feel free to wait for that if you want, but um, this thing is just amazing. It, out -hand it out outperforms uh, the 5960X in the last generation pretty handily in most benchmarks, and including Cinebench and CPU-Z's built-in benchmark. Although obviously multi uh, single threaded performance does seem to be down a little bit, uh, as seems to be standard. I mean, the 6700K outperforms uh, this and likely will do in the 10 core. Um, in you know single threaded performance, but obviously when you get to multi threaded, you're uh, you're, you're kind of being blown away there. So there's there's a bit of a trade, but obviously this is definitely designed for more multi threaded and very intense workloads, stuff like video editing, ray tracing, and 3D modeling. Um, 
all that sort of stuff. Anything that's heavily multi-threaded and very difficult to run unless you have a lot of power, uh, this is kind of what it's built for, so that's pretty awesome. In terms of scoring, I'm going to go for a 4 for value for money because obviously it's a great value for money in the enthusiast price category, but it's still pretty damn expensive, so you got to bear that in mind. Performance has to be a 5, it's fantastic. Functionality is mostly limited by the motherboard as it has a decent number of PCI lanes uh, and all the other sort of connectivity options, so that's going to be a 5. Styling, I guess, just has to be a 5 because it's a chip, what can I say? Uh, and in terms of Tech Movie score, it's also going to get a 5 and the Gold Award because it really does seem like the best value for money price point in the ridiculously high-end enthusiast category. So if you're after a very, very awesome chip, especially one that can uh, boost your FPS considerably, even with the same graphics card as I found, then feel free to pick one of these up or even the 10 core option if you have just way too much money. Um, otherwise, yeah, feel free to uh, you know stick around and check out some of the more budget CPU uh, reviews I've done, including the 6700K, 6600K and some AMD chips if you're interested. And on that, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, if you enjoyed the video and feel free to like. If you didn't, feel free to dislike and let me know what you didn't like. And if you're picking up anything on Amazon, it can be your, uh, a new garden shed for all I care. Please do click my affiliate link in the description down below as it genuinely helps me keep the lights on and keep making these videos for you guys. So if you could do that, that would be really awesome. I'm not asking you to spend any more money, uh, although if you did want to spend money uh, for something in return, Vessel does offer a pretty nice uh, option to basically get all this content seven days early, except for, you know, these sort of videos, in which case they kind of need to be out on the same day. But uh, yeah, if you want to check out most of the videos that are uh, seven days early, then you can head to vessel.com slash and check that out. And on that, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next video.